Hi, my name is Peter. I am working on the procedural generation of our dungeons in Project Walker. And I would like to give you a little sneak peek of how our current experiments are looking. So, uh, I hope you can see the screen here. We are uh, now floating in uh, space here and uh, taking a look at our uh, dungeon. It's uh, rather small, as you will see in a little uh, moment, but I just wanted to start simple. The way we generate the dungeons is that we first have some natural looking caves that we then uh, create tunnels between. That way we guarantee that there is actually a path from the starting point uh, to the exit portal, which is where the level will end. So let's go and take a little uh, look at this, uh, at this cave uh, by, uh, by flying through it with a free cam. So here we are, proceeding down uh, the dungeons that I've put in some lights, so it should be easier for you guys to, uh, to see this. You can see that uh, they are uh, very spacious here in the beginning, and then it narrows into a small uh, pathway here, and this is the exit portal. So this is a very small uh, level, and uh, it's also quite boring right now because there's no enemies, um, so I'm going to try and add that. The way we control uh, the generation of the caves is through a lot of parameters. Uh, those parameters will describe the amount of enemies that are allowed to be there, the type of uh, uh, stone that is there, amount of gold, which is very important for the dwarves, uh, and other uh, parameters that control the complexity of the tunnel systems. Uh, right now I'm just going to add some enemies, so let's do that. Uh, and like this, rebuild the terrain, and you can see maybe on the screen there was a few enemies. If I do the fly-through again, you should be able to see them. So here they are. We are fortunately in pause mode, so they are not dangerous right now. But we can see the enemies are here waiting for uh, for uh, for the dwarves to uh, to come in. Okay. Um, one of the important things about the procedural generation is that we are using a random number or like a seed to generate the dungeon from. This means that given this particular number, you will get the same dungeon whenever you key in that number. It's important for our purposes to be able to debug things to to repeat the same dungeon, and at the same time, it gives almost uh, literally an infinite amount of dungeons for you to explore. So let's try and uh, change this number a little bit and, uh, and see if we can get uh, some, some new dungeons. If you can see this on the screen, I'm just going to do it a couple of times. So we get new dungeons every time. One more time. Okay. Um, of course, one of the most interesting parameters is to control the size of, uh, of the dungeons. And I'm just going to crank up the size of uh, this particular level um, somewhat, say 16 by 6 by 16. Um, and let's see uh, how that goes. I think I'll zoom out a little bit like this so you can sense how it's uh, actually growing in size. Let's re rebuild. <coughs> there you go. Okay, so you can probably you can probably see that this is actually quite a large dungeon with many many small caves you can explore. And if you were to actually traverse this full level, it would take quite a long time. So we actually control the amount of caves that you're required to visit. We have a number that say maybe you need to visit four or five caves, and then the exit port will be there. Um, sometimes though. Uh, the random generation will surprise even us, and maybe there'll be a secret opening to another cave full of gold or something like that. That was not really planned, and I think that's part of the charm of, uh, of doing it this way, that there's always something new to, uh, to explore. Um, let's do a little fly-through in this uh, level as well. It's uh, somewhat larger. So we start by going down this uh, very steep entrance. Have gold already from the start. We a uh, deep chasm down there and going through this pretty uh, densely populated uh, monster-filled dungeon, and then a long uh, hallway here. So you can you can already now sense uh, a much different uh, scale uh, of things here. And this is also this would take take a little while to uh, to get through for the dwarves. Okay. One of the things that uh, we also can control is the size of the individual caves. Some of them will be very uh, uh, claustrophobic, cramped, uh, difficult to navigate, and some of them would be very big and spacious. 
Inside uh, the more uh, spacious dungeons, we want to try and uh, fill them up with some structures. We imagine either the dwarves or some other beings actually has been here before and constructed uh, walkways and bridges and so on. So I'm going to change the scale of the dungeons right now to make for some much bigger caves and then we can try and fill them up with some, uh, some stuff. So let's, uh, let's change uh, to a bigger scale and maybe we'll give it another seed again. Just to, uh, to try something new. Okay. I uh, hope it's possible to see on, uh, on your screen. Uh, these are much larger caves. You can see these big lumps and then there are some tunnels in between them. And now I'm going to try and add the, um, the structures. Of course, all of this is very uh, placeholder uh, stuff. So we only have uh, two things, a walkway and a, sort of like a cross section. But you can see there came some stuff into being here, just like this, a walkway here, and maybe some other things in the other end of the level, I don't know. See, there's also something there. Okay, let's try and do a, let's try and do a little fly through and see if we can spot some of the some of the stuff that was generated. Okay, so here we are again. Fearlessly going into the mountain. And we have a, a rather big room here, which has a, a walkway, a cross, build a cross. It's a, it's a very deep uh, cave, apparently, from uh, the look of it. Uh, so there's pillars going down here that the bridge is resting on. You can fly around here and there's actually a, well, there's like an opening under the, under the bridge. We can go through here. Uh, and there's some more structures in here. You can see uh, a walkway across there and, uh, and it's like a cross section over here. And you can see this is into a very spacious dungeon again. So I hope this gives you an uh, idea of uh, different things we're trying out. Uh, we have lots and lots uh, on the drawing table, many more plans we want to experiment with. So I hope to be back uh, and show you some more soon.